Okay, I haven't really touched this software yet, but I am hoping that it will solve one of my biggest problems when it comes to AI-based portrait retouching. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait photographer from the Philippines, and welcome to the channel. So for those who are familiar with the channel, you know that this channel is all about photography tutorials and lighting tutorials. However, every portrait that I take, I still need to process in order to get to where I want it to be. Now, lately I have I've been using a lot of AI based softwares and there's one particular thing that's not even talk about the credit system that's an entirely different topic by itself but there is one thing that actually bothers me it's that it added an additional step to my entire process so what I do normally is I have raw conversion then AI retouching and then my final is Photoshop and one thing that I've been hoping for is to actually have an AI based portrait retouching software that works properly live within side Photoshop. And that's exactly what this one can potentially do. I haven't tried it as I said earlier, this is actually gonna be the first time I'm gonna be using it. So I will actually give you my real thoughts about this software. It's called Retouch For Me Apex. So in order for you to get it, all you have to do is go to the Retouch For Me website, download it, and it will automatically show up in your plugins folder here, oh sorry, filters folder, Retouch For Me Apex. So let's try it out now. By the way, once again, my wife Coco, it will be my subject for today. This one, actually this is a video that hasn't come out yet, so do subscribe to the channel if you want to see how I lit and shot this image. It's actually a, such an amazing video. I'm so happy for it. I'm so excited to actually bring it out. So let's go here, Retouch For Me, Apex. So as I said, this is the first time I'm actually using it, so I actually have to log in, put in your password. There we go, all right. So this particular plugin lives within Photoshop. However, it is still cloud-based, so you do need a decent internet connection. So let's click Start Retouching. Cloud Retouching will send your photo to a server. Okay, I agree. And let's go and see what will happen. It's uploading it, there you go. You can see, uploading, processing, and this is the amount of credits I have. I have 165 credits. So one image is one credit, same as most AI-based software. So I'm kind of used to it by now. To be honest, I have no problems with paying a per image per credit thing because the benefits that I'm getting from this AI-based software, fantastic. So much stress removed. Okay, completed, there we go. So you've got Lifting, Heal, Dodge and Bird, Portrait Volumes, Eye Vessels, Brilliance. Okay, let's try everything. Oh, it did it automatically. Oh, interesting. They act it actually did something already. There. Oh, it even lifted the face. Hey. Oh, because I had it clicked. So let's turn it off. Let's see one by one what happens. Wow, interesting. Whoa. Hmm. I gotta show this to my wife, Coco. Um, you know what? She's behind the camera. I'm gonna make her, I'm gonna stop this video first and I wanna show it to her. Babe, come on, Let, I'll show you something. Babe, look at this, right? Nothing. Oh. That's interesting, right? Mm. However, it's not something we normally do. Mm. Okay, so lifting. So let's remove lifting. I'm not actually that happy with lifting. Let's do heal. Okay, what does heal do? Look at that. It just took out all the blemishes without touching the pores of the skin. Very interesting. Look here, right there. Not bad at all. This is the 100%. Maybe bring it down to 50. Less aggressive. Or maybe put it somewhere here. This is actually quite interesting. All right, but here's the thing, I forgot to do it. I'll cancel this one first, and what I will do is I'll actually make a new layer so that whenever, when, I, when I do this, um, this uh, plugin, I can actually just fade it out if I want to, or I can mask it out. So that's the best way to do it. Create a new layer first. All right, so let's start off with heating again. So there, 
Okay, let's zoom into her face. I'm happy with that one. Let's do dodge and burn. Whoa. That was interesting. Dodge and burn basically just evened out her complexion, but maybe it's a bit too strong. Very nice. Buy this one. Ported volumes, you're okay. Nah. Okay, but again, it's depend uh, these things are dependent on your taste. I just want to see, and it's pretty fast. That's a beautiful thing about it. It's pretty fast. Eye vessels. Eye brilliance. Let's check out eye breath. Oh, there we go. A subtlety of the brilliance. There. Very nice. I like that. Then skin tone. What did skin tone do? Oh, there you go. It basically tried to match every skin tone here there see however i think i turned that one off mattifier mattifier should be very interesting because this one are hot spots if i do that there you go mattify the skin nice took out a lot of those hot spots interesting fabric let's see what fabric can do Wow. Nice. Very, very nice. And all I need to do from here, oh, then I can save it as a preset. Let's go through all of these things first. I'm happy with with fabric, mattifier, eye, dodge and burn and heal. Let's do portrait essentials. Let's see what it does. So this is basically just putting in some presets, perfect skin if I want to. Port Prada or Perfect Portrait. Whoa. All right. So it, again, it's really up to you on how you want to play around with it. But one thing that I'm really happy about is the fact that this one lives within Photoshop. So all I need to do is click Apply. And then it's going to apply it to a layer above the existing layer. So if I want to remove it, all I have to do is basically remove that layer. And I can bring it back the way I want to very very interesting now here's the thing there's some things how i wish that actually it because it's less aggressive off the bat that we can tweak a little bit of the things that it does it does allow you to do it to a certain degree however like for example when the when i tried playing around with the lifting it touched so many things that how i wish i could actually tweak each and every portion of my subject's face if I want to do that. Now, one thing that I realized while I was actually using it was that the moment that you upload an image to the cloud, it already charges you one credit. I think maybe in future versions, I will email retouch for me for this one. They should actually upload the image and only charge the moment we export, not while we're uploading because we need to see if it's actually worth editing or exporting. But again, they might be doing it because some people might just screenshot whatever it is that's being done. I, I actually don't know the reason behind that. But for me personally, I wish that I wasn't charged immediately the moment I uploaded that image, that I would only be charged the moment I export it. They could always just put watermarks while we are actually editing to prevent screenshots or things like that. So potentially this image or this particular software, I do love. The fact that I, this love, it is within Photoshop, it is layered so that I can actually just go back to the original file afterwards. But there are some things that still need to be improved, but it is worth a shot if you want to do cloud-based AI retouching within Photoshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel and while you're at it, click that notification bell. Now, if you want to learn more about photography and off-camera flash photography, there are tons of videos already in the channel. And if you want to see some of my photos, you can always check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.